going, everyone? This is Rick from the Quantum Life Network, and we are glad to be back with you with some YouTube news. What's going on is uh, I'm going to discuss the algorithm at YouTube and just how impossible it is to understand. Um, even the software engineers themselves don't know where it's going. Um, it's run by artificial intelligence. It learns, it adapts, all within a set of guidelines which were set by programmers. Well, things learn, like these artificial intelligence learns these days. And I've been reading lots of articles, one off of uh, Tube Filter, that, will, that talks about how um, you can do all you could do to examine it and get it right the first time, but it still decides. There's nobody in there pushing buttons, making sure this thing is doing the right idea. They're catching up with their AI constantly. Um, that's kind of discouraging because I, I don't know how you feel, but AI is kind of an ethical question whether machines can learn and things can learn. Well, it's all possible today, according to YouTube. And the algorithm is pretty interesting. Um, you can you can reverse engineer it. You can look at it a million different ways, and tomorrow it'll be different. So all of this talk about this algorithm is really left up to the algorithm itself. Now there's a gentleman um, who was a uh, um, uh, gentleman who was a former YouTube engineer. And he worked on the video's website algorithm before leaving Google entirely in 2013. I cannot pronounce his name, but um, I found it off Tube Filter. I'm just going to quote that this is a Tube Filter and it was reported April 12, 2018. So this is as of yesterday. Um, it's hard to figure things out how the algorithm works because its inner workings are impossible to read <laughs> because they're always changing. They're always changing, they're always adapting, they're always learning. Within a set boundary, I guess. You know, there's some things that they consider spam or people who are just, you know, I've heard about YouTube jail today for the first time. If you subscribe to too many people over a certain period of time, they put you in YouTube jail, which says you can't, you can't support anybody for a long time. You can't shit that button of love. You can't do anything. You've got too many. You can receive them, but you can't subscribe to too many at one time. Um, I found personally that I found a, around 10 to 20 a day is about where I'll get um, where I'll get with that. And, and that's been positive for me. Um, I get about 10 subscriptions a day so that my growth is still exponential. It's still going really good. I'm not worried about it. But this guy, this guy has um, started a website called algo transparency and it's all about the algorithm and transparency of the algorithm um and i'm gonna search it right now because what it does this is chat mr chaslot fed a few search strings like donald trump dinosaurs and parkland shooting into a program that feeds these strings into youtube I'll go transparency, then list the clips that show up most commonly recommended videos for each of these subjects. Everyone should know if you start to spend time on YouTube where it's going to take you. So he's basically starting this algorithm transparency website, and I'm going to find it. It's in TubeFilter, but it's not pulling off on TubeFilter to give me the correct address at the moment, which it did a minute ago. But I'm going to pull it up, and I'm going to put it in the, um, in the description below so you can take a look at it yourself. Um, it basically is finding what videos on YouTube are being assigned to certain keywords first. And I don't know how that's going to be all helpful for us. We could make a whole bunch of clickbait that's going to get us in trouble too. Um, but the main thing is, is you got to question yourself. I, I put something on, do we trust YouTube? Well, I can't say that we don't trust the company, but I, I can, and I don't necessarily trust them at this point because they're they're working behind the scenes to do something much bigger, in my opinion, than just run a social media slash media company. They haven't quite decided where they want to go, and that could change tomorrow too. 
They could change tomorrow. They could do all kinds of things tomorrow that will affect us today. We've, we've learned that in the past. So my suggestion is to, is to um, just go with the punches because even YouTube doesn't know what YouTube's algorithm is doing. That's kind of scary. That's real scary, as in like an off the wheels roller coaster, trying to it's people trying to catch up and make sure it doesn't hurt somebody. Um, I think that's been a major problem. That's been a problem for advertisers too, because the algorithm says, "Okay, you type in um, Parkland shooting, which uh, which is awful, and you get all these conspiracy theories." Try 9/11, 9/11, 2001 or terrorist attack, you're going to find all of these conspiracy theories based on that. And that's what really bothers advertisers. And that's part, ma mainly what contributed to Adpocalypse and Adpocalypse 2 and any other future Adpocalypse would be how they get to pay their creators. And um, if they're losing money, if they're saying, oh my gosh, these, these, these conspiracy theory websites are popping everywhere, you think they could change that. But they apparently aren't because it's still happening. They're ha they have a team of 10,000 moderators that are going to be working on this to that they're hiring currently to work in four-hour shifts so they don't get too overwhelmed by really disturbing content. They've got them working four-hour shifts a day to weed out some of this conspiracy theory, disturbing messages and stuff like that. I don't know. I still see disturbing disturbing things on YouTube. I, I think you might too if you search for a couple of these things. Um, I'm not so much talking about conspiracy theories, but just things that make it up on YouTube that shouldn't. We all know about that. And that sit there until someone reports them. Uh, yeah, a guy getting ready for bed at 3 o'clock in the afternoon is not cool. Um, with a camera on him and making lewd comments, that's not cool. Um that was really offensive to my fiance and she reported it and lo and behold it's gone today it's gone today it's the whole channel is gone so because there were a few of these things on there and and, and that's just like that's someone's idiosyncrasies in their kink and i'm not here to judge anybody but if it offends people it shouldn't be on youtube but I mean, but everybody gets offended, right? So what, what, where does that community guidelines fall in? Uh, is this creepy? Is this not creepy? We don't know. The, the algorithm is deciding and then a human, if it's deemed somewhat unacceptable, will look at it and say, is this what needs to be on YouTube? But as you know, uh, something like four days worth of content is uploaded to YouTube a minute. This will be part of four days in the minute I upload it. So it's really big. And it seems really out of control. How do you guys feel about this? Leave a comment below. I mean, leave a comment. I'm, I'm open to discussion about this because uh, maybe I, I don't know something, but everyone I know says that the algorithm is working faster than YouTube. So with that, um, I'm going to let you think about that for a little bit. Leave a comment below and um, I'll get back to you. And I'm looking forward to doing more of these videos that I've done in the past that are shorter and easier to understand. And then a one hour live stream. There's gonna be more of these. This will come on these will come on at approximately um, eight o'clock in the morning Eastern, seven o'clock, nine o'clock, somewhere in that round. I haven't decided yet. Probably thinking nine o'clock, eight o'clock Eastern, these will come up. So uh, look for more of this at eight o'clock Eastern um, every morning. I look forward to doing every morning. Every video every day in April, and I have failed. So anyway. This is Rick signing out. You. I mean, I really think you should. Yeah. Oh, God, I